So here I want to try to make some sense of the Russian peasant algorithm, and I'm going to do that by comparing it to the Ethiopian algorithm. But first we're going to make sense out of the Ethiopian algorithm. So here I'm going to, I went through the exact same example that I went through before, the first example I did for the Ethiopian algorithm, which is 26 times 43. And so the first thing I did is represent 26 as a sum of powers of 2, and then I doubled 43 a few times until I got up to the maximum power 2 that I used, and then I kept the same powers of 2 that I used inside of 26, added those up to get the sum, which was uh, the final product, which is 1118. So the thing to realize here is that if I start with 43, and I have a 1 down here, and I double 43, I get 86. Well, so 86 is really 43 times 2. When I double 86 to get 172, well, I'm really doubling 43 times 2, which means that this is 43 times 4. And when I double 176 or 172 to get 344, I'm really doubling 43 times 4 to get 43 times 8, and so on. And so this down here, I can rewrite this as 2 times 43, and uh, 8 times 43 is this one, and 16 times 43 is this one. So when I add those guys up, what I'm really doing is I'm getting... 16 plus 8 plus 2 times 43. Well, what's 16 plus 8 plus 2? Well, that's exactly 26 times 43. So that's exactly what I was aiming for. That's the product I was aiming for. And so I split it up as um, easy multiples of 43 just by doubling. Um, and so uh, that was uh, allowed me to find this product much more easily. Now go ahead and try to do the Russian peasant on your own. So when you set up Russian peasant, you just put the two factors in the top of each column, and then you go ahead and have 26 every time you get a half. So 26 divided by 2 is 13. Cut that in half, I get 6 and a half. I drop the half, I ignore it. Cut the 6 and a half, I get 3. Cut the 3 and a half, I get 1 and a half. I drop the half, that's fine. And then on this side, I double it. And then I cross out each row that has an even number in the left-hand column. And I keep all the odds. And what I see on the right-hand side is exactly the same sum that I saw here. So you must be doing essentially the same thing in the Russian peasant algorithm that you were doing over here. This idea of crossing out the evens should correspond exactly to picking the correct powers of 2 to put into 26. So I'll give you uh, a little more uh, background on that in just a second on a new screen. So the idea here was that we're going to try to select which um, powers of 2 need to go into 26. So you notice I didn't put an equal sign here because if I added these all up I wouldn't get 26. But I'm trying to decide which ones. Do I keep these or do I throw them out? Well if I look at this sum on the right hand side this number's even, this number's even, this number's even, this number's even. And then I add a 1 to that to make it odd. Well do I want an odd number? No. The sum shouldn't be odd because I have an even number on the left hand side. So I need to drop the 1 because I don't want to add the 1 on because that'll make it odd. Um, and then so now once, I'm, once I've decided about whether I'm keeping the 1 or not, I cut everything in half. So I cut the, the 26 in half and I get 13. And I have 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. And now I look. Is this number odd? Well, yeah, it is. All this stuff is even. And I need the 1 um, because... Uh, I need to make it odd on the left-hand side because the uh, number I have on the left-hand side is odd. Now I cut this in half, and I don't worry about the fact that there's a half on there. Well, what do I do when I not worry about the half? That means I'm dropping this one, but I've circled it to pay attention to the fact that I want to hang on to it because it, I needed it to make this odd. So now I've got 1 plus 2 plus 4. Well, these are even. This one may, would make it odd. Do I want to keep it? Do I want an odd number? No, I don't want an odd number. I want an even number. So I'm going to drop that one. So I cut the 6 in half to get 3. Now I cut this in half and this in half. Now do I want an odd number? Sure I do. So I'm going to keep this one. And then I cut the 3 in half, drop the fraction. Well, again, I drop the fraction. And it's just corresponding to the fact that I'm keeping that. Well, I have a 1 on that side, so I want a 1 on this side. And so now you look, which ones did I keep? Well, I kept the 2, I kept the 8, and I kept the 16. If I add those guys up, I'm going to get 26. And so that's why the Russian peasant uh, and the Ethiopian are very close. The Russian peasant is just sort of a more compact version of the Ethiopian algorithm for multiplication.